Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing my 2020 luxury wish list. I'll go in order of kind of likeliness of me getting these items. And I'm gonna start with a couple things that aren't luxury, just, just as a disclaimer. I don't need everything to be luxury items. So definitely the first thing I, I am going to be getting, and I am already planning on getting it, is a MacBook Air. So I started my YouTube channel just you know late last year and I've been so fortunate because I it's just been such a wonderful community when I started my YouTube channel I filmed with just what I had so I've been filming everything on my iPhone in last month in December after about three a little over three months on YouTube I hit a thousand subscribers which was wonderful and then here we are in January last Saturday I hit another I hit 2,000 subscribers and it's just been so amazing so I think I am okay and I can finally say okay let me invest <laughs> I can put a little bit of money into this uh, so anyway long story short so yeah I think at this point I'm going to get a MacBook Air just the Air not not a heavier one um, just because I want to be able to carry it around because I eventually want to upgrade I want to use Final Cut Pro you know so I've been using iMovie and my iPhone for doing all my YouTube stuff and which ties up my phone once I'm, you know, doing the whole uploading and exporting. Anyway, so yeah, MacBook Air is uh, my first upgrade. <laughs> so next up is, and this is the only kind of a contemporary bag that I have in my wish list, and it's by Base Travel. I have an entire playlist dedicated to my base bag reviews. I have a lot of, a lot of bags, a lot of travel accessories. Base Travel is a line created by Shay Mitchell, and it's all travel bags and travel accessories. And it's just, I, I love the style. This is one of the first bags I got. It's the base backpack. I've used this tons and tons. This was in my recent um, most used bags of 2019. And then the other bag is the base work tote. This is also my most used bags of 2019. They're coming out with a diaper bag later this month. So I have three kids. Uh, two of them are still in diapers. And every time I've had a new baby, I feel like I've gone and needed a new diaper bag because I need to reconfigure everything and how I pack. So that is the first bag I plan on getting <laughs> is the base diaper I just bag. did a recent, another recent video showing my LV on the go tote and my denim Neverfull, which is right up there. So I'm, I think I'm good on huge bags. One of my most used bags are crossbody bags. Definitely this year, 2020, I will be getting the Celine Nano luggage tote. But I love the Nano size. I think it's so cute. It is so practical. It fits a lot. And I, I love the structured style. I love the little robot face. <laughs> and so yeah, the only question is what color. Um, I do like the black, but um, I tried the, I think it's called Dune when I was at the uh, Celine in Beverly Hills uh, last year. So I'm not sure. I have to kind of evaluate my collection and see. I have two two styles of bags that I do already own that are very similar. So the first bag I own that's very similar is from Target. This is the Philip Lim for Target and this is pretty much a very similar style. The other style that is very similar and I don't have it on me right now because I mentioned before how I, I haven't been using a lot of my, it's, um, and it's by Henry Bendel, the mini Rivington tote. And it's exactly like this. It has, you know, top handles, it zips closed at the top and it has a crossbody adjustable strap. I really like that style too. So I know for sure the Celine Nano is uh, definitely on my list. The bag that's on my wish list is the YSL Sac Du Jour. And I have had this on my wish list for a long time and I know I immediately was attracted to this bag when I first watched House of Cards and I saw Robin Wright Penn's character, the first lady, use that bag and I was just like, oh my God, I love her entire style. Very kind of structured, very sleek and elegant at work. So I, yeah, I love that bag. I have been eyeing that style. I don't know what size. I've tried a different, a few different uh, sizes. I don't even know what color. I like the dark burgundy. I tried that on, they had it at Nordstrom actually. So yeah, I really like that. I have been kind of ignoring Dior all year. Last year, I in my first video, I mentioned I went to the Dior outlet at the Woodbury Common Premium Outlets in upstate New York. So when I was at the outlet, I picked up this little a Twilly. So it has the F initial, which is my my initial and has says Dior there. I'm eyeing the oblique Mitza in blue or red. Either the the oblique pattern where it has the you know CDs uh, logo on it, or I like the one that just says 
I think it says Christian Dior and then it, I don't know the name. I don't know which bag I would want. I do want a Dior bag. Honestly, I feel like they're really overpriced. I don't know if I want the book tote because again, I have the Louis Vuitton on the go tote. So I tried the book tote and it just isn't really practical for me because it doesn't have shoulder straps. So as much as, you know, I think it's really cute, it's very trendy right now. I don't know if it's the bag for me. What I do like is um, a saddle bag. So I probably would get a saddle bag. I like that it has a shoulder strap. It's very comfortable to wear under the arm. And then you can always attach a longer shoulder strap so you can make it a crossbody. Um, I'm all about versatility with strap options. So I would probably get some kind of a saddle bag. I really like the uh, Dior pumps, the ones that have a ribbon kind of around the instep along the edges. Um, I do have a pair of Dior shoes, so it kind of matches my little Dior clutch. Yeah, I would get a Dior, either a Dior saddle bag or, and Dior pumps, I think. One of the Louis Vuitton bags I definitely know I'm getting this year is the pochette accessory and the Damier Azor. I was very fortunate this year to be able to get the um, Damier Azor and the Damier Ben mini pochette accessory. And then I did a Mon monogram of the mini pochette. And then I was able to get the Christmas animation in the mini pochette this year. This is a great piece. It's very versatile. But what drives me crazy is I can't fit my phone. Now I can fit my phone in the regular pochette accessory. So this is the Cerise's collection. I, I don't have a strap on it right now because I, I switch out from my crossbody to a chain strap. This is the perfect size bag because it fits my phone, it fits my keys, it fits all my essentials. Um, and you can wear it as a crossbody. So I definitely am getting the pochette accessory in the Damia Azor pattern. One of my favorite luxury purchases from last year were my Chanel studded double CC dangly earrings. So, and I heard I had gotten pearl earrings, pearl Chanel earrings. So I thought I was good with Chanel earrings, but I do kind of want Chanel hoop earrings. I'll post a picture, but there's a, a pair that I saw where it was a big hoop and then it had like within near closer to the ear another double c <laughs> hanging from it i don't know i like chanel because it's my my name is cindy so i have you know i feel like all those my initials kind of repeated maybe anyway the other earrings i like are fendi they're a fendi hoop and they have an f like this so i really like those i will add those to my wish list this year as well down in my list uh in terms of likeliness of me getting it are two chanel bags now i I'll link my Chanel collection video. I'm I'm good on the flaps, I think. I have a large um, jumbo flap. I have a medium flap and I have a square mini flap. And you know, I don't even really use them as much. I, I do occasionally, but it's just not my preferred, just for me and where I am right now, I don't use it a lot. What I do like is the Chanel Coco handle. It's just such a beautiful, it's such a dainty feminine, <laughs> such a pretty bag pretty much for sure not going to buy any Chanel bag new because I just think the prices are so insane to me um, so yeah I would likely get if I do get it I would get it pre-owned um, so either the Chanel Coco handle I don't know what color I definitely not black I have too many black bags um, I actually really like a, there was a denim there was one that I saw in denim that was so cute but I feel like I have an, I'm good on denim bags. I, I just got that denim Neverfull. I have a Chanel denim flap. So I don't know. I have to kind of play around and again, see my collection, but I do, I love the silhouette of the Coco handle. So I would add that to my wish list. I don't know how, what the likelihood is of me getting it this year though. And then the other bag I was very close to purchasing last year was the Chanel Gabrielle Hobo bag. And it was in the iridescent, kind of like a purpley metallic, silver color and I was very close but I then I ended up not getting it when I first saw the bag in store I was like what it, it didn't make any sense to me I didn't know how to use it the strap was so crazy long and I didn't really understand it and the sales rep you know she was showing me different ways to wear it and I was like okay not really this is, this is a little too modern for me and so what really sold me on it was watching um Mel in Melbourne, she did a video, something like 12 ways to wear the um, Gabrielle Hobo bag. And I was like, oh my God, yes, <laughs> this is so cool. So it just, it was so versatile. And I really, 
yeah, it was just, I was like, okay, yeah, this is cool. I can, I can see myself using this. Now the issue is that the smaller size is so small for me. And even if I pare down what I carry, the, the zipper of the small size of the Gabrielle Hobo is so narrow. It makes the bag really narrow, the opening. And I just, I don't know, I just was like, it's too small. So, and if I'm gonna use it, I really wanna be able to use my bag. And I, you know, if I'm using something I carry, you know, more than what I would be able to fit in the small size. So, but then when I tried the medium, it just was kind of too big. I don't know, it was a little overwhelming on my frame. But even then I was like, okay, well I can still, it's okay, I still like, the, I would still get the bigger size. So that's the one I was looking at. I was looking at a, a used one on Fashion File of the Gabrielle Hobo. And then I, I just, at the last minute I said, no, okay, I'm not doing this. And then I kind of forgot about it. So I don't know if I will probably, it is a lot, obviously it's a lot trendier. It kind of, I feel like people, more people are forgetting about it now that there's the new trend, business trend flap or something. But I, I'll revisit the Hobo, the Gabrielle Hobo bag later on this year. Um, but yeah. And if I do get it, I really love that iridescent color. I, I don't think I would want to get a black one or like a, kind of a neutral color because I think to me the style is just so versatile. I don't know. It's, it's, it's like a pop of color. Even the iridescent purple one, it had a really pretty iridescent hardware. So it was kind of like a rainbow hardware, which that I was, I was like, okay, this is so cool. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I would get it, but I was considering A few it. things that I'm kind of looking at or kind of interested in, but I don't know if I'm going to 100% you know, pull the trigger on them. Of everything I have on the list, I really want the Celine luggage tote in the nano size and maybe another pair of hoop earrings, maybe from Fendi or Chanel. Probably Fendi because it's a little less, it's a little easier to stomach, but oh, and then definitely the Mac Air. So that is everything on my 2020 luxury wish list this year. I added a couple contemporary items and some tech items. Going into the year, I knew that my list would this year wouldn't be that long considering I did get a lot of items last year. So let me know what's on your 2020 list. Let me know if you have any of the items that are on my list and if they work out for you. I'm kind of curious about the Chanel Hobo, the Gabrielle Hobo bag, because I don't really see a lot of people with that. So maybe that's something I might look into definitely pre-owned because I think that's something that maybe was a little trendier. So people bought it and now they're like, eh, it doesn't really work for me. So they'll sell it. So maybe I'll be able to snatch it up, but. So that is my list. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what's on your 2020 wish list. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.